Hello guys, I'm Nightbuzzer and welcome back to another tutorial on Unreal Engine 5.1. In this one I'm going to show you how to import Mega Scans trees, the very new released ones, and um, enable Nanite on them. So stay with me and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you go to the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you're going to see that in the free section and the Mega Scans tab, uh, you're gonna see these new, what do you call it, packs, whatever. And it's two types of trees, which we now have. So just add them to your cart and then you're gonna have them in your library. From here, just install it to the Unreal Engine 503 and uh, then open the project. Okay, so after you've opened the the level just you're gonna see here two folders one with black alder and the other one is called European hornbeam these are the two types of trees that we got from Quixel then just click on the folder right click and just hit migrate and it's gonna select all of the all of the textures and the actors inside that folder and just click OK after that this window is gonna pop up and uh, it's gonna ask you where to migrate the items. So you just select your Unreal Engine 5.1 content browser, I mean folder, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, I'm just gonna click select folder. Yes, I've done this already. <laughs> That's why that popped up. Okay, so now it should be done. And then I'm gonna open my Unreal Engine 5.1 level. I'm just gonna yeah, and you can see that everything is imported, all the geometry, and I'm just gonna drag smaller actor, smaller mesh, whatever. I'm just gonna set it to zero, 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 so it's right right far away <laughs> to be honest but it's fine we're gonna wait for the shaders to compile and and here it is let me just adjust my camera speed you can see that it's working perfectly it even has wind animations and let's just try to make it a nanite mesh so double click this why are you like this just why. Now just click on these two boxes, check them. This one is when the camera is very far away from the object, it's not gonna look weird and it's gonna look just fine. And the fallback relative error I'm gonna set it to zero because of the path tracing. I'm gonna apply changes and we're gonna come back. That was quick. Okay, so before I started recording, I imported this tree to do a quick test and as soon as I imported it, I saw that the leaves aren't looking so good, in my opinion. They haven't got a really nice translucency, if you know what I mean. They're very dark, so I'm gonna try to fix that problem. So I'm gonna open the material for the leaves. So I'm gonna check this box and I'm gonna set the brightness to maybe five. And now you can see it looks way better. <laughs> Even in path tracing. Maybe you can s we can set it even more than that. Let me just try 10. Is it too much? Doesn't look like too much. Because this is how leaves are in real life, they're not so opaque, they're very translucent. I'm not sure if it's a limitation or why it looked like that, but I feel like this value of 10 just looks really nice. But you can, you can play with it and just adjust it so that it fits your needs or however you like it, you know? Okay, so now the nanite mesh is done. Yeah, you can see the materials on this one are just the same. So let's adjust it so that it has a bit more brightness. 
Yeah, beautiful. And even in path chasing, it looks amazing. And I'm just gonna show you the. Where is it? Here. The nanite triangle visualization. And it works just as you expected. And man, look at these details on the tree. I mean, I'm blown away. Quixel are doing an amazing job with their scanned objects. You should definitely check it out, and it's also free, so why not make a good use of it, you know? I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box if you want to check them out, and um, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.